Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you had a fine day. Mmm, this one's gonna put out some smoke. And we need that today. I do. Anyway. Oh, we're gonna, oh, that's gonna put out some good smoke, yeah. Slow it down a little bit. Spirit, what is it you would like the collective to know at this time? Please and thank you. Page of Swords. Negotiations, messages, and contracts. Challenged by. Whoa. I just threw a whole stack of them over there. It's like I just missed the deck. Challenged by. Three cards came out. So we've got um, a wish come true. So we've got this page of swords. Somebody's curious. They want to negotiate. They want to, they want a contract, right? And we've got uh, a wish come true. So a wish fulfillment, nine and a cups. We've got the emperor also in the challenge position. And nostalgia, six of cups. So, um, okie dokie, there's that. And in the subconscious, in the subconscious, we, ooh, we've got the star reversed. They're in despair. They've been disconnected from the star. They've been disconnected. They're insecure. Emperor disconnected them. In the recent past. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So a queen of pentacles, like a working parent, and then um, a four of pentacles. So a frugal, solid foundation. It's frugal, you know, but it's, it's, a, it's a very secure and solid foundation. And then this, she's the working parent. The intentions and expectation. going to read this as well we got the sun in the upright and we got the ten of swords in the upright so um it could be that the happiness and vitality that um, this this uh, secure foundation and this relationship brings and this change that the emperor is enacting here brings a painful ending to somebody because what? Because they've been defeated by the sun. In the near future, we've got the Knight of Swords. So somebody wants to defend their beliefs. They want to rush in. They're not done. They want to have the last say or something. And the lens that's being looked through is the Hermit. So light is being shown on whatever this is. Somebody's rushing in. They want to defend their beliefs. And there's, there's a light being shown on it. Is it true? What is it? What's happening here in the environment? We have... Ooh, that one took our somersault. 
Ooh. Gosh darn it, I dropped it again. In the environment, we have a Three of Swords in the upright. So there is a heartbreak, disloyalty, a, a divorce of some sort, a separation, hopes and fears. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody is, um, again, insecure and deceitful. Insecure and insecure. And then this, this one here, whoever's got in this um, Three of Swords, they're also insecure and they're jealous and they're narrow-minded. The result, well, that's a lot of cards. The result, please, Spirit. <laughs> okay. There's the lovers and the upright, and then we got the ace of swords in the reverse. Somebody's confused and frustrated by these love relationships coming together. They're they're feeling brutal. They want they're they're like they're like feeling brutality and stuff because they're in a three of swords. And they didn't get the contract they were looking for. There might be this, whoever this sun is or whatever. Whoever this star is that they've been disconnected from, is, it looks like is entering a new union. And whoever this um, person is that was seeking a new contract, they're having a, a ten of swords because they're being separated from this sun. And they're in a three of swords because there's a divorce. There's a t teamwork happening here. Collaboration. King of Pentacles is here also. And um, the Hierophant. Making very quick changes. Bringing balance and unified love. Oh, marriage. Man. And this is justice. Isn't that nice? These ones aren't happy about it. Nice for you. Hmm. I paid $30 for a used book today. And it was a really, really thin one, but it was old. I treated myself to something nice. Alrighty then, so here we go. We got the page of swords. Somebody wants a contract. They want this wish fulfillment, or they wanted it. They want a contract. They're trying to negotiate. They want a contract. They want a love contract. This page of swords wants a. He wants a love contract. But the emperor is here. He's whoever this is. They're challenged by this emperor, and who is overseeing these wish come true unions, divine unions. <laughs> tribe there could be a whole family here with this emperor challenging this reunion this whoever this is they've been disconnected from the star energy they're in despair T 
teacher. This person may have been a teacher regarding um, how to use love to escape painful endings. That may be why the emperor won't, won't allow this person a contract with this star. One of the reasons, I don't know. I'm not the emperor. Anyway, you got the queen of pentacles here and a four of pentacles. Object, oops, whoa, come back here. Objectivity, seeing both sides of the story. So she has understanding. The intention and expectation is that this positive rebirth where all is going to be well is bringing a painful ending for this individual or individuals who are using um, love as an escape route for painful endings. They can't use love as an escape route. The emperor is not having it. This tribe isn't having it. And so therefore the sun is being separated or whatever whoever this um whoever they're working with this star they're disconnecting um this energy from this star um sun energy they're rushing in driven to succeed they want to defend their beliefs they want to defend their beliefs Regarding their teachings, their learnings, their knowledge regarding love, regarding evermore, regarding marriage. So they want to defend their beliefs. This is what I was taught. This is how it was supposed to be. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I guess if, you, if you're taught something and you're going to defend those beliefs... I, I think that sometimes, you know, it's really beneficial to be set apart from the world because you get um, closer to spirit, you know, because there's no church bells. There's no um, hubbub. There's no, you know, groups, cliques, this or that. There's nothing except the wind and spirit, you know, and it's connected whereas when you are taught something then you can get lost in that it can become your belief but in, essentially it's just something that you were taught it wasn't an actually a, a belief generated by intimate connection with life right anyway i don't know there's light being shined on this they're not a sovereign being They're in a three of swords. They're confused. They're confused because it wasn't supposed to be this way. There's a queen of wands in the reverse. Jealous and deceitful, narrow-minded, selfish. They're not arcana. And they're not... Um, getting forgiveness they're not faithful they don't believe in um they don't believe in the most high god they don't believe in maybe i don't know i mean maybe they're not sovereign they do divination stuff but i don't know what that says about anything you know i mean And in the outcome, we've got a, a, the lovers here, a, the strength of two together. It's a deep love. And that is causing somebody confusion. There's, there's big time confusion here. They were expecting to get a contract, but instead they got disconnected. There's confusion, heartbreak, confusion, deceit. That's wild. 
they can't spy on somebody's location. They want to bring competition to somebody's location, but they can't find somebody. They can't find this leader who survived. They, um, they want to work to make a change. They want to do work to make a change. This, this religious chicken. But it looks like um, that this person was able to self-preserve through self-care. And she's, she's important and she's getting a compass or somebody important is giving her a compass and, and they might be making an appearance soon. They're in service to others. This wholesome person who is seen as perfect. There's a backstory to all this. There's a backstory to all this regarding the, this wise guy and his kin versus um, these conscientious people. Hmm. You've got a team here working uh, for long-term rewards regarding these, um, these unions or this union, this particular union. So glad this emperor sees things differently than these other people. Mature man. This mature man is he wants a contract. He wants to negotiate he wants to negotiate a love relationship. And this emperor and this tribe is here saying, ah no, I don't think so. It's nostalgic, so you may know who this emperor is and this tribe. Like, this could be um, somebody from a previous cycle, from something long, long ago. And this person's challenged by it. They're trying to defend the way they treated this star. The way they taught people to put this star in despair. They're challenged by this unexpected income that this tribe and the emperor has. They're challenged what, they didn't get it? It's in the upright or they're challenged by it. They're disconnected here. They're a false person. They're a false person who taught people how to put stars in despair. There's a queen of pentacles here and a four of pentacles. So there's a frugal yet sturdy and solid foundation. There is wealth security with this queen of pentacles. Um, it's not like there's no money, um, but there is um, frugal um, ways. Objectivity. So there is um, I guess you could call it a reconciliation because both sides of a situation are being dealt with, right? Objectivity is both sides seeing both sides of a situation. And there is a rebirth, all is well. Well, let me not get ahead of myself. Yeah, they're affecting a change. There's a change here. And the, um, all is well, there's a rebirth. There's the, the sun here, warmth and celebration, which causes painful endings for this mature man 
who's not able to, who's being disconnected from this star and sudden wealth. He's been defeated. He's having painful endings. He's in bad health. He's in bad health. Because this um, sunny person is on a pathway to the house. Leaving on a jet plane. And they're in despair. Okay, so they're defending their beliefs. They're they're like they're trying to think fast, right? So they're breaking out all the textbooks, all the scholar, all the materials that they were taught about marriage and how they were supposed to handle that. They're trying to defend their beliefs. There might be a message from a wealthy man about imprisonment regarding this marriage, regarding what the work that they were doing with this marriage or against this marriage with this sunny person who's on a pathway to the house or his marriage, his union. This wealthy man tried to um, interfere in it. I mean, I'm sorry, mature man. The mature man wanted to interfere in this wealthy man's marriage. And now I, this wealthy man is sending a message. He's like, hey, dude, that's where you're headed. Don't come in here and try to defend your beliefs regarding this marriage. Because um, the hermit is here. And a light has been shined on this situation. And this person's not a sovereign being. It's like we've seen it already. You're a, you're a competitor. You marry people out of love. And then you start slugging them in the face. Trying to knock them out and win some freaking battle or war. Some competition. So that you can take their stuff. That they never even knew was a competition. They didn't even know that they were in a fight for their life. It was an invisible threat that came in the form of love. I'm not done pulling these yet. Mean female. Truth is being shown. There's heartbreak. It was there's confusion. Divination tools, what they've been using divination tools, and there's heartbreak and confusion. They're like they didn't they didn't get what they were expecting. They're unable to tap into her thoughts. They're narrow-minded and deceitful. There's a queen of wands here. Narrow-minded and deceitful. She's not receiving forgiveness. She's not arcana. This could also be this person. If he's in a queen of wands reversed energy, he could just be jealous and insecure and deceitful. He could certainly be in a queen of wands reversed energy. There is a community here who um, either tried to stop a child from being born or this child could be seen as a new beginning. So they were working, this whole community was working with this jealous, deceitful person who is not Arcana to um, come against this uh, main female. They wanted this main female to be seen as though she wasn't sovereign. But light is being shined on this. The truth is out. Whoop. 
Oh. The truth is out. The lovers are here. A deep love connection. And this brings confusion and, and, a, and a brutal mind to somebody. They can't spy on the location um, of where these lovers are going. And they, again, they did not get the, the connection. They didn't get the union. The lovers are together, but they did not get the union. And they're not feeling real happy about it. These lovers are going on a journey. They're trying to spy on the location. They can't find the location. They didn't get the union. They're feeling a little frustrated right now. Like it's a disaster. On the bottom of the deck, we got Distant Horizons and Great Fortune. And this is an end to the toil and labor against high honor people. There's a, a message of concern regarding a wealthy man and a privileged lady and a gift. This thief is under adjudication for the work they did with this mature woman. Or this mature woman is a thief that's under adjudication for the work they did against these two. And they're, they're in the courthouse now concerned because they're facing poverty the main male is here he's the lover and he's the lover of this main female that they've been um coming after he's been fighting for this with this dude he could be an official person and he is um he, he's this is his this is his courtship he says there's something going on in the family room there could be people having tea having discussions making plans developing strategies so happy for the impeccable gift of observation and um, integrity and this incredible mastery of being able to see the truth that so many of you have within you and exhibit in this world, you know, in your relationships with people, like you can just see it. And, you know, some of these folks are really good. I mean, I'm old, so I've encountered quite a few people who are really good at pretending. I mean, sometimes years can go by. <laughs> You're like, why does it take so long to pick up on these things? I don't know, but... You know, nowadays, I guess it's really lucky because there's all these videos out there with tips and tricks on what to look for if you don't want this certain thing happening in your world. You know, I don't know. It's, But we may lose the Internet. So hopefully, but it'll just be that connection, I guess, that we'll have intimately with life. And it'll be what it'll be once again. Oh, excuse moi. They're, oh, this mature man wants this love relationship. He wants this contract. He's in negotiating with this emperor here. He's in a disagreement. This, this, he's like, he's like, he's like, this is my soul tie. This is my passion. This is my whatever, right? And the emperor is like, uh, no, 
She's got a new family tree and a wish come true. And she's coming into this unexpected income and you're getting disconnected. You're getting disconnected. She's getting a new chapter because you're a dishonest mofo. Isn't that wonderful? No contracto. Disconnection. Because you're a false person who taught people how to hurt this soul tie. For fun. For fun. And now you're in despair. My tour man. They made mistakes. There's gossip about them being part of a third party when they um, when they should have been appreciating you. They, they didn't appreciate you. They might have said they appreciated third-party situations. They appreciated third-party situations. They didn't appreciate this soul tie. There was, the, it, there was no chemistry or passion, whatever. Whatever, man. That's not what a soul tie is about. So they were really into third party situations. They were a false person and their whole thing, all their teachings, all their everything was that they were supposed to marry this and flip it upside down and take whatever it was, right? That was what they were taught. That was the whole point of getting married. And then you were supposed to have third party unions to just fool around, you know, and then, and then get whatever satisfaction you needed out of that. You know, I mean, I don't know. This is twisted, man. They feel broken over this change. The sun is on a pathway to the house. This is causing a ten of swords for these people, this mature man. I didn't get the sudden wealth. They're in bad health and they're in despair. They're broken. They feel broken. They neglected to give you what you deserved, what you needed. They neglected you in a bad way. They're headed to imprisonment. They're headed to imprisonment and they're trying to defend themselves, but they're running too. They're running away. They're trying to think fast. They're running because they're facing imprisonment. They got the message already. There's a light being shined on this. They were not, a, they're not a sovereign being or they tried to flip a sovereign being. Who was a, who is a main female? They're asking for forgiveness. They're in a three of swords. They were disloyal and um, they betrayed this person. They hurt this person bad, and now they're suffering because um, they've been cut off. They can't tap into her thoughts anymore. And this wasn't what they were expecting. Their um, divination tools didn't tell them it was going to go this way. They're being, they've been detached. They've been cut off. They're selfish, they're jealous, they're deceitful, they're narrow-minded, they're not getting forgiveness, they're not seen as arcana, they don't get the new beginning, they or their community that helped them hurt this person. 
they're all being divorced from this person, from this star, this son, this main female. They're chasing after her. They're running. They're chasing. I guess it won't be too hard to find them if they're chasing after this main female. The lovers are coming together. A deep love. A deep union. I mean a deep se sensual uh, union. Love. And they're going on a journey together. This pathway is open to the house. This is causing frustration for um, this mature man. He, he can't find the location. He doesn't know where, this, where these people are going. He didn't get the marriage. And he can't find the location of, of this union, of where it's going, where, where their journey is taking them. Their secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. They want to call up and hear your voice. Yeah, these ones, they, this mature man, he was found unworthy of a soul contract with you. The emperor found him unworthy of a soul contract with you. He understands that this person is operating out of the ego. They sabotaged a union that was supposed to be inseparable. They sabotaged it by their absence. While this woman stayed, she, she remained hopeful. And she may have reached a point where she had to actually escape for to save her own life. Wow. They're in regret. They're indecisive. They're in their own space, their own head space, and they're in regret. Because there's a reunion happening. A wish come true. So this mature man is saying to this emperor, there's chemistry here. We're linked. We're passion. We're this. We're love, you know, soul tied. And he's having this big old disagreement over this contract. The emperor is not giving it to him. He's like, look, you're a dishonest. You're a dishonest dude. This tribe probably has all kinds of evidence of this false person. Third parties, gossip, all the mistakes leading to evidence being found of what they, it is that they their true intentions and their um, true um, actions were. They really appreciated being a false person and teaching people how to how to hurt their spouse, their soul tie. <laughs> He thought the emperor was going to give it back to him. Wow, man. This star, who's a son. He really thought the emperor was just going to give her back to him so that he could continue hurting her. It's fate, man. It's fate. It's faded. This disconnect is faded. It's time. It was scheduled. He probably knew... That this was happening this was probably part of the prophecy that they were talking that everybody talks about which i still don't know about things are coming together as it goes along oh get back here yeah this person's dishonest they were wearing a mask they were pretending it was all pretend all of it there's no love there's no passion it was all pretend it's just you acting they're all stressed out now because they really love third-party situations everybody's gossiping about this they made a lot of mistakes they took bribes or bribed people 
but um, this woman received aid. They were dominating her, and she received aid. She got help. She got help because other people see her as a gift. And they, and they knew that she was separated out of pride into a life of loneliness. They're feeling broken. They feel shattered about this situation because there's a change. There's a change and they feel broken and shattered about this situation and they could be feeling some danger or maybe they've had an accident. There is a ten of swords here. Bad health, despair. Justice is being served. They are being separated. They're running. They're, they were trying to defend um, their treatment of this soul tie. Broke out all the books, all the academics. Trying to think fast. And they're running. They're running because they've received a message that um, they're facing imprisonment. So they're running. They're running. They're trying to come up with a strategy. They're trying to read minds or whatever on how to get connected with um, wealth, with extravagance. They just want to strategize about how to get material items. That's all they cared about. That's all they ever cared about was how to strategize to get material items. And unfortunately, that means um, marrying a star and then flipping it upside down and then taking the rejuvenation and renewal and healing and star qualities and taking that from this person, right? That was how they came into their wealth. That was their strategy. That was their academics. They're asking for forgiveness because the hermit is here shining a light on this person who is not a sovereign being and what they were doing um, regarding this main female. There's a reunion. You reached your goal. There's a reunion. From long, long ago. Memory. <clears throat> Three of Swords is in somebody's heart. There's a divorce happening. This, this could be um, seen um, it, with divination tools. Like this could have been seen. But expectation is in the reverse and thoughts is in the reverse. So he's unable to get into the thoughts of this woman and he detachment is here. So he's unable to connect with her through divination tools, perhaps, or any other divination abilities, any clairs or any of that. So he's been detached, divorced. He might be collaborating with others about this, but he's not getting what he was expecting. Or maybe there was a collaboration that caused all this for him. The fact that the people came together in unity. To cause a detachment. Come on now. Yeah, they're jealous, they're deceitful, narrow-minded. They didn't they didn't get the new beginning. This whole community, 
They're not getting forgiveness. They're not seen as arcana. They're chasing this. They're chasing after this. They're disappointed. They're lonely. They may be in isolation. Ooh, they fell into a trap. A trap, a trap of self-love. <laughs> How did you know that loving yourself would trap thine enemies? How did you know that? Maybe you didn't. Maybe it was simply a code within your genetics or your, um, your spirit. Maybe. The lovers are coming together. It's a deep, unified love relationship, sexual and passionate. Going on a journey. There's some secrets. Haven't told you everything yet. Throwing this person into a major spin, man. They can't find the location. They can't spy on anything. They can't find it. They didn't get a marriage. They can't um, spy on the location of this marriage. They're confused. frustrated in a state of chaos they could be in an illusion like stuck in a fantasy of sorts <clears throat> oh. they um, don't have any vitality they're, they've lost their passion. They've been disconnected from this star. They were siphoning rejuvenation and renewal off of this star, vitality. And they've been disconnected from the vitality of this star, this sun, this main female. The emperor has disconnected this person. They can no longer siphon the vitality off this person. They can no longer tap into the mind of this person. And they can no longer um, siphon the passion or the wealth out of this person. They're confused. And they're feeling brutal. Because they're in a disaster. It's like um, they're facing um, confinement. They're being unfreedomed for what they did to this gift, trying to get this gift. Um, there is readiness. There's arrangements being made. There's a vow. And that leaves these ones stuck in their head and in a state of conflict. You're coming into a blessing. You've earned merit. You get your family. With that, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you on the next one, everyone.